Welcome to our tutorial on Leonardo AI's Canvas Editor. This tool is incredibly powerful for fine-tuning your images, but the settings can be a bit overwhelming at first. We will go over each setting and tool in depth, provide a few tips, and do some editing together. Ready to become an AI art expert? Let's go! To start, there are two different modes we can use, Focus Mode or Infinite Mode. Focus Mode is great if you're working with a single image, and Infinite Mode is better for working with multiple layers or images at the same time. Let's start with Infinite Mode. There are settings along the right-hand side. You can select which fine-tuned model to use. Next, you can change the Canvas Mode. We'll come back to that in a moment. Like when generating an image, you cannot select the number of images that will be generated on a free plane. You can select the image dimensions for your final render, with larger dimensions costing a few more tokens. You can also increase the render density, which will make your image dimension smaller, but with higher resolution. Use the guidance scale to control how much the AI will stray from your prompt. Those are the general settings for infinite mode. On the left-hand side are your tools. Pan allows you to move around the canvas without selecting anything. Choose Select to grab an item to move it, or just select it for modification. Draw Mask tells the AI what you want to change. In infinite mode, you'll need to move the generation box around, where you want to change the image for the AI to understand what you are trying to do. Erase your edits with the eraser tool, and add elements by hand with the sketch tool. These tools, combined with the prompt, are the basics for how the Canvas Editor works. Within Infinite Mode, there are four editing styles. Text to Image, In Paint or Out Paint, Image to Image, and Sketch to Image. Text to Image works the same as the Full Image Generation tool, and is useful if you want to quickly generate an image to include in your design here. You can select Prompt Magic, which costs a few more credits, but uses an AI algorithm that can produce higher quality images while sticking closer to your prompt. You can adjust the contrast and prompt adherence here as well. As you can see, the image that it generated is completely separate from the canvas and can be manipulated on its own and as its own image. Let's move on to InPaint and OutPaint. This tool is great for changing objects within an image, and it allows you to extend the image edges. We'll start with InPainting. First, you can select the InPainting strength to adjust how creative the AI will be. Remember to move the generation box around where you want the AI to focus. The two tools to use here are the mask and the eraser. With the eraser, you can take out sections of the image and tell the AI what it should look like in the void. This is best for removing things and replacing it with the background, like a magic eraser. Use the mask to cover up an object and replace it with something else. Select the Outpainting toggle to change the mode to Outpainting. Change the generation box to the size you want. Place it where you want to extend the image and tell the AI what the image should be with the prompt box. Image to image is mostly the same as text to image, except it will treat your canvas image as an input images to help direct the style of your output. This is great for adding new objects or scenes to the image. Scroll down to the control net setting and select what you want the AI to focus on. The AI will generate a new image based on your inputs and prompts in the generation box. Finally, Sketch to Image. 
allows you to draw things into the image that the AI will transform for you. It's a lot like in-painting, except you can tell the AI to automatically treat your drawings as the mask. You can override the defaults. Changing the input strength tells the AI how closely to stick to the background image, and the mask radius determines how much area around your sketch may be impacted. Like with most generative AI, and especially generative art, there will be a lot of trial and error to get the image perfect. Once you get the hang of it, though, the settings are a very powerful tool to edit and mold the image. Finally, there's focus mode. Change modes at the top of the canvas after selecting the image you want to focus on. Focus mode is much, much simpler and is mainly used for in-painting Use the mask Lasso to outline the area you want to add to or change, and then type your change in the prompt. Your only settings are in-paint strength and guidance scale. There's no generation box to move around. The whole canvas is fair game, just keep in mind that the credits are used about twice as fast as in infinite mode. Well, there you have it, the Leonardo AI Canvas Editor. There are so many options within this one tool, and they are honestly fun to play with. What is the coolest thing you were able to get this Canvas Editor to do? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. More Leonardo AI content is upcoming, and you won't want to miss it. Thanks for watching.